We are back. I am Chris and welcome back to the channel guys. And today we will be talking about um, Joker, the Joker movie. It's set to be released in autumn and it's directed by Todd Phillips. A little bit of um, movie trivia for you. Todd Phillips, he has directed the, the uh, Hangover trilogy. He's also done War Dogs, um, War Dogs, and he's also directed Due Date, which is another funny film with Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis. So he's he's great. So um, yeah. So let's dive into this. Um, this will be based off the trailer. Obviously, I'll put a link in the description for the trailer as well. Um, my thoughts. So I'm seeing a lot of people making the um, comparing Heath Ledger's Joker to um, um, Joaquin Phoenix, who will be playing the Joker um, in autumn in the Joker movie. And I think it's a bit unfair, you know, because I understand Heath Ledger's, he really left an imprint on, you know, on filmmaking and you know he done a, an amazing job but to yeah again these are just fans just speculating how good the film is going to go and i feel as if i feel as if when fans speculate whether a performance is going to be good or not it takes away the the hard craft of the filmmaking for the directors you know because at the same time you can't look at a film for just its acting you have to look at the directing the cinematography and all the other aspects that come into the filmmaking you know like for example um when you look at christopher nolan in the dark knight when he has that comparison between in the last act of his film where you have um the prisoners on one boat and you have civilians on in the other boat and our preconceived idea is that um, you know, the civilians won't do it, you know, and then we see the um, prisoners. We Our impromptu thought is that they're obviously going to get the detonate and, and blow them up, you know, but obviously none of those two things happen because then we see that the people who are meant to be the most likable, the citizens, they are the most flawed. They are the ones that are taking it upon themselves to make that decision with that man and he wants to blow up the other boat. And then we see the prisoners um, who realize that they know the importance of what it is to take a life. So, and they would never wish it upon their worst enemy, no matter who it is, um, because they've had to deal with the repercussions, obviously. But um, yeah, like, you know, I feel as if, you know, Christopher Nolan's version doesn't get enough credit. And I feel as if, and I feel as if with Todd Phillips, the transition that he is making from comedy to going into a naturalistic world, I think it's quite brave of him. And, you know, I think that um, regardless, it will be a very, very good film. Now, moving into the um, analysis side, um, I think could... DC have an ace up their sleeve. Now, because I'm seeing a lot of references and Easter eggs in the actual trailer itself with the Arkham um, Hospital and just, you know, the overall feel. And then could this be, because here's the thing, the, re the reason I I'm speculating that could this film be um, in the DCU, in the, in the, you know, the DC cinematic universe, because what a brilliant way, you know, with everything that DC, they've been hearing home runs with Shazam, which I will be doing a review for, stay tuned for that. Um, you know, Shazam and Aquaman and Wonder Woman and all their success. Why would they want to do a solo film? You know, I think they could, they could be doing a Russo on us telling us that, no, this is not going to happen here and there, blah, blah, blah. And then when we get to the, act, the actual end of the film, it's like, you know, it's revealed to us that this Joker will be in the DCU and this will be their trump card. This will be their ace up their sleeve. No pun intended. But, um, 
Yeah, that would be brilliant. I think that would be absolutely amazing if um, if that could be the case. But yeah, moving on to um, Joaquin Phoenix. Now, this guy is a phenomenal actor. You know, I need to brush up my knowledge with his films, but um, two years ago I went to watch You Were Never, um, you Were Never Really Here, and the guy played that role to a T. He's amazing. So any ideologies out there that he won't do well, he won't do... I mean, have you seen him? The guy's 60 pounds, and if he turns sideways, he might disappear. And with doing doing that so, he might actually dodge the rain as well. So if anything, we are going to get a very decent film, and I do believe he will... It will be that he will put on a stunning performance. Yeah. And um, going back to Todd Phillips very quickly, he's also um, it's also been announced that he will be do directing a biopic um, for um, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, the iconic wrestler back in the back in the nineties, when NWO. You know, let me know if there's any wrestling fans here as well. I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, and with Chris Hemsworth playing Hulk Hogan as well. So I can't wait to see what he does there. I'm, I'm liking the transition that Todd Phillips is doing at the moment and he's got my backing, you know? So yeah, but guys, um, let me know how much money do you think that this, this Joker movie can make? How much do you think? My estimate is, I'd say about 500 million. Bit crazy, but I think with, with enough hype, it can make that number. But yeah, guys, smash that like button, like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and share this video as well. Bada bing, bada boom, I'll see you in the next video.